it's probably only a couple. I'll say total income, and then I'll sum that up in the outer column, like so. So now I've got, this is my data input right here. I'll make that blue, and then it'll sum up in the outside. And then my expenses will be down here. I just got advertising, and then I'll have total expenses, total expenses, and this will be the sum of this. And then I'll say that was 20,000. And we'll get more into this, an income statement, a schedule C later, but just to put something in here so we can pull this in. And this will be net income, which is the taxable line item, which is the 60,000 minus the 20,000. So that 40,000 then is pulling in to the first page in this income line. So now I've got two cells here, two uh, sheets that should be pulling into that one income line. So I'm gonna double click on this one, go to the end of it, say plus, and then point to this schedule C and the net income. And I'm gonna pull that in. So now I've got 140 in my first line, which ties out to this number. And now I've got the adjustments to income. So let's take a look at some of the other things that are affected by this whole Schedule C, which we'll dive into later. So I'll just do a quick overview of it because it, it adds a lot of complexity to things. So, and, and I'm, I'm not wanna dive into it a lot of detail. I just kind of want to mirror what the system has put in place right now. So the 40,000 uh, uh, is here and that pulled into the income line item. It's also pulled into Schedule 1 right there and it sums up on the schedule one here, and then it pulls into the first page of the form 1040 as we saw right there, which is included in the total income. So we also have the self-employment, the, the tax. So this is self-employment tax, similar to payroll tax, but for the business where you have to pay the employee and employer portion in essence of the self-employment tax. So that comes out in essence, if we calculate this whole thing out, I, I, will, I will get into the calculations more, but it comes out to 5,652. That goes to the second page of the form 1040. That's kind of where our focus was, which is right here, right there. So that's our added tax. So let's first do that and then we'll look at the next consequence. So I'm gonna go back on over and say, okay, this other tax is, I'm gonna make another line for that. Now, again, I, I could, make multiple lines i could call it like a schedule se self-employment tax or or i can just call it generically you know other taxes and possibly put other things in there other than just self-employment so i'm going to make a fairly generic one just call it other taxes for now i'm just going to say plus pull this all the way to the right and right there double click on it i'm going to call it other taxes and then I'm gonna select, I'm gonna scroll in, and then I'm on A1 this time, and I'm gonna say we have other tax, let's say other taxes. I'm gonna select the whole sheet, right click, format the cell, currency, bracketed, no dollar sign, no decimals, okay, bold in the, the whole thing, make this black and white. Home tab, font, Groot, black and white. And then I'll put the taxes. Now I could, I could pull this calculation in from the schedule C, for example, and calculate the, the taxes. I can recalculate basically this whole, uh, this whole kind of calculation in Excel, but I don't want to get too detailed into it right now. We might do that later and, and see the pros and cons of that exercise. But right now I just want to recognize that if I have a schedule C, what's it going to do? This helps me to, to just see what the, the software is doing, applying the tax code. I'm just going to call this self, uh, employment, employment tax. I'll put that in this outer column over here. Cause I'm not going to do any sub calculation to it. And it comes out to two, it comes out to the, uh, to the 5652. That's Social Security and Medicare. We'll talk more about it later. 5652. And 5652. And so then the total, I'm going to say down here, the total, total other tax, I'm going to put in the outer column equals the sum 
of this. And that's the only thing we have in there right now because that's the big one. I'll make this, I'll make this blue and bordered, bordered and blue. And so there we have that. Now this, I'm gonna pull this into our first page of the 1040, which is gonna go right here, other taxes. So other taxes, instead of having zero, I'm gonna think that pulls in from this other taxes page, which only has the self-employment tax, I might add to it later. So there is that. So that pulls in and that should mirror what we have now on page two, right there. So that makes sense. But that 5,652, we also get to deduct half of it on page on on page one in essence as part of of an adjustment to income which is right here now why do you get to do that it's kind of complex because it's basically payroll taxes social security and medicare which they're trying to mirror what happens on a sole proprietorship to what happens on like a corporation but they're trying to treat a sole proprietorship on the schedule c as if like you're an employee of your own sole proprietorship. In other words, they want to take your 40,000 income here and charge you both the employer and employee portion of social security uh, and Medicare, because on the corporate side, uh, if you had an employee, so they're treating you like an employee of your own business. Like, so if you were on the corporate side of things, then then the, the, the they withhold the employee half of Social Security and Medicare, and then they have to pay their half of Social Security and Medicare, but they get a deduction for their half of Social Security and Medicare. So we should get a deduction if we're self-employed and they're treating us as an employee of ourselves and whatnot, but we can't put the deduction on the Schedule C because we use the Schedule C to calculate the tax and we end up with a circle of reference. So they have to put it on the Schedule 1. See, this is all, we'll get more into this later, but that's just a quick uh, recap of it. So that means that on page two of schedule one, there's that 2826, uh, 28626, 2826. So that's gonna be right here. So we talked about it being right, uh, adjustments, adjustments uh, to income here. And so that pulled in from this tab where we had an IRA. Now I'm gonna say, half of self-employment tax well, let's get the terminology correct here so they call it they call it uh deductible part of self-employment so let's say part of basically half let's say half half self-employment tax so this one i could say this is going to equal then the full tax which is on other taxes that number self-employment tax divided by two. So it should be that 2826, 2826. And that number then is, I'm gonna make this blue and bordered, should pull into page one of the 1040. And there we have it. Okay, so let's see what we've got now. We've got the 140,000, 